Welcome to All Plan Quick Start Unit 4. In the previous unit, we used smart parts to furnish the ground floor of the house. In this unit, we'll create the ground floor with architectural components like walls, windows, doors and stairs. The drawing files from Unit 3 are still open. Our first step now is to display all the information we'll need in Unit 4. Click Open on a project-specific basis and deselect the ground floor of Unit 3. Open Unit 4 and the structural levels, detached house and ground floor below it. Select Ground Floor. Then open Drawing File 450 in Reference Mode and activate Drawing File 451. All other drawing files are deselected and you can click Close. The template for the floor plan is open in Reference Mode and we can start drawing the exterior walls. For this we'll use All Plans Wizards palette. Under All Plan Quick Start, you'll find all the wizards you'll need in this unit. Select the Quick Start Components wizard. If you now double right click this exterior wall, All Plan's Wall tool opens. All the wall properties are applied automatically, so we can start drawing straight away. Draw the exterior wall by clicking the corners in the floor plan. Start from the point where the garage and the house intersect. If you need to change the wall's offset direction, click here to reverse it. Now enter all the other corners of the house. The wall ends here. If you press the escape key once, the wall will only be interrupted. To exit the wall tool completely, press the escape key once again. Continue by drawing the in-situ concrete wall for the garage. What you do is double right-click this wall in the wizard. This time select Rectangular Component in the Wall dialog box. You can immediately start drawing again. When you select the Rectangular Component, all you need to do is click these two diagonally opposite corners and the garage wall is created. As we want to create a few more walls of the same type, switch back to Straight Component and start the first interior wall at this point up here. Press Escape once and add the second wall right away. Finished. Now press Escape twice to quit the tool. A special feature of All Plan is the possibility to create so-called profile walls, such as the wooden slats you see on the facade of the garage. This component is also provided in the wizard. Double right-click the profile wall in the wizard to enable the tool. You can now start drawing. Finished. Press Escape twice to quit the tool. Let's quickly add the column in front of the garage. Double right click the column, select the desired anchor point, for example bottom right, and place the column where you want to have it. We don't need more columns, so you can press Escape to quit the tool. Now to the fireplace, which you can copy as an entire object from the wizard. Drag a selection rectangle from left to right around the fireplace. This way, you select only the elements that are fully bounded by the selection window. Use the key combination Control c to copy the fireplace to the clipboard. You can then paste it here with Control v Finished. Let's have a look at the floor plan in the animation window. This looks fine. You can now continue drawing all the other walls of the floor plan in this way. I've done that already and saved the result in drawing file 455. Click Open on a project specific basis, deactivate drawing file 451 
and activate Drawing File 455. Our next step will be to design windows and doors. This is quickly done using the All Plan Wizards. To better see the template file in the background when adding the door and window openings, choose the drawing type Digitize Quick Start down here. The components are now displayed transparently in the floor plan. This makes it easier to see where openings are still missing. Drawing types are very useful because you can very quickly create all kinds of different representations for your floor plan without having to redraw any lines. Press F4 to open a second animation window. Let's start with the entrance door. Switch to the Quick Start Openings wizard. Double right click the opening of the entrance door to enable the door tool. Then set the anchor point at the bottom left. You can now place the door at the desired position in the wall and confirm the offset to the reference point and the end point of the opening in the dialog line with Enter. Next, you can choose the door swing with a click of the mouse. When you are satisfied with the result, click the right mouse button to confirm it. Excellent! Then press Escape to quit the tool. Now repeat these steps for the south façade. Double right click the opening for this French door to enable the door tool. Set the anchor point at the bottom left again. You can now click the bottom left point of the opening at the edge of the exterior wall and confirm the offset to the reference point and the end point of the opening with Enter. Right click to confirm the result and the facade is created. Then press Escape to quit the tool. A quick check in the animation window. Very good, the facade and the entrance door have been correctly created. We don't need the bottom animation window anymore. We can now start creating the stair. Before we continue with the stair, we'll switch to a drawing file in which all the openings for the ground floor have been created already. Deactivate Drawing File 455 and activate Drawing File 456. Switch to the Quick Start Stairs Wizard. Double right click the centre rail of the straight stair to enable the stair tool. The currently active tool is always shown in the dialog line down here. Follow the dialogue instructions. We're asked to place the first point for the stringer from bottom. Start by clicking this point next to the wall and then continue by clicking all the other points of the stairs outline. The stairs line of travel is created at the centre of the stair and you can now define the height of the stair. Select the following settings. Height at top is 2950. Click OK to confirm and then click OK again. All Plan now displays additional parameters for defining the stair outline. Here you can check and change the settings you made. Everything looks fine so far. Click Close and then Yes to save the stair. All Plan now asks you if you want to label the stair automatically. Let's do this now, but I'd like to change the text settings first. Text height 1.5 Font Arial Select vertical for the text direction and place the label in the area of the stair's line of travel. A quick check of the stair in the animation window Finished. That's it. See how fast it is to create architectural components with the wizards. 
Designing with wizards saves you a lot of time. In this unit, we used predefined wizards, but you can also create your own wizards in a very easy way. In the next unit, we'll add dimension lines to the walls we created, and I'll show you an easy way to make later changes to components.